Hey guys, what is up? It's Tyler here again, slash Mr. Fishy, and we are back doing another video, and this video is going to be on how to stream and how to game on two monitors. So how to have your stream, your Twitch chat, whatever whatever you want, even if you want to, you don't even want to stream, you just want to watch like a movie or something on one monitor and play a video game or something else on the other monitor, then this is how. I've struggled to, to figure out how to do this. And, and you know there's so many different things that oh yeah do this do this it just it just didn't work it's one of those days or one of those weeks where you're like this won't work so I figured out how it will work I guess I was just doing something wrong all, all along or uh, maybe people's uh, tutorials or whatever just didn't make sense to me um, well so now I'm gonna share how I figured it out um, to help you guys in case you guys didn't figure it out or you guys don't even know yet maybe you've, this is your first time coming across a tutorial for it so I hope this helps you guys uh, just like it helped me so you first you want to have two monitors already hooked up to your to your graphics card rather that I have one monitor hooked up as an HDMI and the other one hooked up as a DVI so you can have both or or you can have different ones, HDMI, whatever your graphics card will, will hold. Um, and you have to make sure your graphics card can actually do two monitors at once as well. Uh, most monitor or most uh, graphics cards nowadays will do it. Um, right? It just, most most of them do, unless you've got like a really crappy one, then you, it might not work. So after you've got all your, your monitors hooked up, and how, how, you know, you can even have three for this if you even wanted to. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to display settings. You're just going to right click on your desktop and go to display settings. Then you're going to come to this 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 uh, this sort of menu here. So basically, what this allows you this allows you to order your monitors and how they look in front of you. So physically, which side of them or which side uh, are the monitors on of you? So the one number one is on the left side of me, and number two is on the right side. As you can see, I'm actually uh, recording on the number two monitor. So basically, what that means is this one right here is the one I'm actually recording on and then this one is where my OBS and everything else is on right now so basically that's all you need to do really all you gotta do is order them so they're proper proper and you want to click extend these displays so this is basically just showing you um, what I'm showing all your stuff on the number one monitor which would be this one for me um, and then or show only on two which is the one I'm recording on uh, or to duplicate these displays basically you know you open you open Google Chrome on one the other one will open Google Chrome you know you search YouTube the other one will search YouTube and you're just watching you know it's good if you have if you have like you know if you're trying to show like it's good for teachers if they're trying to teach a class like let's just say you have one monitor for um, uh, for yourself and then the other one is like a projector or something you know that that's that's really where it helps uh, extend these displays or what a lot of places use um, so well, let's not do that sorry um, anyways so but yeah so that's basically it all you gotta do is order them so to know which one is which you gotta do is ad identify and on the screen should come number one or number two as you can see it says number two so that's why it's on the right side like I said before number two is on the right side of me so that's why I have it ordered but let's just say you know you click identify and then all of a sudden you know your number two is on your left right so then you just move it to your left and boom you're done and then all you gotta do is try to to make sure this actually works make sure you click apply and then move your cursor to the side of which the of which the monitor is like the other monitor is and see if your cursor goes to the other monitor if it does it worked if not try the other side and then it might work um, so that's basically it so I'm just gonna move it back because that's the way it is you just make sure yep it's a perfect and everything works so I just click apply um, also if you want um, everything you know if you want certain if you want everything to open on one monitor so then you know you're able to move it to the other one you just click make this my, my main display so my left one is my main display so if I open Google Chrome it'll open on that one um, but if you actually want Google Chrome to open on one uh, monitor basically all you got to do is close is drag it over and close it on one monitor and then click it again and it will open actually on your the monitor that you close it on so it's perfect right so if you know you have you usually do Google Chrome on one of them and you have videos on the other one or whatever you know you whatever right let's just say you open movies on the left one um, and you have your Google Chrome on the right one then they'll open there automatically um, but yeah that's basically it guys so basically now what I'm going to show you is how to uh, actually capture your window so ignore this trippiness right now so all you gotta do is right is right click add 
monitor capture and that's what I have here make sure you're under a scene it doesn't matter if you're scene 2 scene 1 scene 100 doesn't really matter um, and then you're gonna come across a window that looks like this when you when you actually click add monitor capture and or if you don't come across that what you're gonna do is just right do what I did right click click properties and now this is what sort of confused me I, it confused me about for about three seconds and I was like well I'll just change the monitor number so here you see how it says monitor one but the one I told you that I was recording on is monitor two so OBS might not see that monitor as how Windows sees it so the monitor that says number two might be number one for OBS or it might be number two for OBS and number one for Windows it might be the same it's just literally just playing around with it and seeing what works and what doesn't and uh, that's it. All you gotta do is click your monitor that, that that you want to actually record on. So if you want to record on number one, or then you, you know you're like, okay, I don't really like it on number one. Let me try number two. Then you click number two, and you're done. And then all it is is recording your the your the monitor. And then the one the other one won't be recorded. So you can have you know whatever you want up there. You can even have your Facebook up there if you really wanted to. Anyways, guys, so that will do it. Thank you for visiting the tank today. And uh, if you guys have any recommendations, any uh, videos that you guys would like, if there's something I can clear up, make sure you leave it in the uh, comments. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And uh, uh, everything else, guys, all my social media and stuff like that will be in the description. Make sure you to follow me on Twitch and to sub. And if you like the video, then hit me with that nice like. And uh, that's going to be it for today. So.